Patriot, Kung Ye. Hi everybody, welcome to Taekwondo Thursday. Another week has just flown by. It's There's some heat in the Dojang this evening. It's really glorious weather this evening after a really cloudy day. Um, I have to stay well away from the windows because there's uh, just such a glare coming in from the sun uh, that camera would just be overexposed so we're over here in the corner well away from the sun a few requests for our videos this week the one I decided to go with was exercises that students can do at home to help develop the strength in the muscles to keep their leg up for psychics and, and various other kicks so the first exercises we're going to look at are for the beginner grades we're going to do these on the ground of course high grades can do this as well but I'm going to show you a, a more challenging variation of it for the higher grades so you lie on your side make sure you are completely on your side you're not kind of rotating on your belly or on your back make sure you've got a nice foot position for psychic on that upper leg and what we're going to do is we're just going to work this range so from parallel to the ground to around 45 degrees up and down things to watch out for make sure you're not sticking out your bottom Make sure you're not turning your toes up towards the ceiling. So you want that heel slightly higher. Even level is fine. But make sure the toes don't rotate upward. Make sure you're not sticking out your bottom. Make sure you're not doing huge momentum. Just nice and smooth. Now you want to do this for repetition. So you might start off with 50 and gradually build it up to 100 and so on. So that's exercise number one. Other exercise that you can do in this position are circling and again same teaching point make sure you're not sticking out your bottom and make sure you're not turning your toes upward so you can do so many repetitions clockwise and so many repetitions counterclockwise so that would be exercise kind of 2a and 2b if you like because you're changing directions let's move on to using some resistance bands for the next one mini bands are great tools for working your, your hips and you can get different resistances depending on the manufacturers. Um, I think this is made by Perform Better. They do different colors, same, all the same kind of width in the band, but they do different colors. This is from Resistance Band Training, an American company. They do a black, a green, and a purple one. So, you know, it's better to start with lighter ones and then when you are ready to go up. So what you do with these is you put your feet through the, in many ways these are easier done in shorts now at home and you go on all fours keep your knees hip width apart nice strong try not to sag down we're getting away from the hips now but at the same time let's do it right so press your your chest up away from the floor and try not to just get very lazy in that position so this is called the quadruped position when you're on all fours and then from here work on that abduction we're bringing that knee out to the side try not to kind of lean over to your supporting side try to keep your core activated so that you're holding position as you work on that leg and you might do 10 or 15 reps depending on the heaviness of the band change legs you can always go back over again or, or else have a rest so just keep a track of what you're doing how many reps how many sets and then meet or beat your previous performance for the last exercise we're going to get back up on our feet so now that we're standing again the, we'll do the first exercises standing up now you can lean on the wall for balance because it's not balance we're looking to develop right now it's endurance so from here bringing up the leg you want to work hip height is what I recommend but you need to have your trunk reasonably upright so if you find your heads dropping below your shoulders well then you need to lower the leg okay so this will work both flexibility and also the endurance so hip height and then just start working up and down it's going to be a smaller range of motion than on the ground so here just working up and down keep the leg straight make sure you're not sticking your bottom out make sure the toes aren't rotating to the ceiling up and down and again you can work for repetitions or you can work for time as well we can circle small circles again just controlling do so many clockwise do so many counterclockwise basically the same as lying down but we're getting a lot more advanced by doing it on our feet and ultimately when you're kicking you're going to be on your feet so that's what you want to work towards cheerio cheerio